Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So a new data download just dropped on JP, and uh, we got the details for the free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming with part 3 of the 6th anniversary, specifically for um, the Fizz UI Goku, the LR Master Roshi, uh, Krillin and 18, and also Roshi and Tien. Now, before we get into their details though, let me quickly turn off this music. Uh, let's watch the new trailer for the third part of the anniversary. Okay, a big shout out to Kawaii on Twitter for posting this. And let me just turn up the music a little bit here. And here we go. All right, so there you go. Um, of course, the Goku and Frieza, the, the tech LR Goku and Frieza, are also getting an Extreme Z Awakening. Um, we went over the details this morning in uh, the last video, so if you guys missed it, make sure to go check it out. But um, yeah, that that's the trailer. The sixth anniversary is coming to an end. Of course, there's still a lot of stuff uh, we have to do before that happens though. Uh, like the EZAs for the units, and also uh, there's going to be a new Jiren event, which I think is why they showed Jiren here. And um, what else is there? Uh, oh, the 66 ticket multi. Um, the remaining 11 tickets should be available uh, once part 3 begins as well. So that's also a thing. But uh, yeah, guys, enough talking. Let's move over to the details for these Extreme Z Awakenings. Once again, shout out to Kawaii. And of course, for the translations, a big shout out to the homie Goresh because he's awesome. And uh, I love, honestly, one thing that I feel like doesn't get brought up enough is the formatting of these details, man. I mean, it's so nice. He does, you know, the old leader skill and then the highlighted new EZA details. And same thing for the super attack, same thing for the passive. It's just really nice and color coding the type uh, with the name, you know, like that's, it's just little things, man, just make it look so clean. So for that reason too, I appreciate you, Goresh. I really do, man. Uh, so yeah, anyways, with that said, let me just quickly remove my face so you guys don't, you know, miss any of the, the, the text because it doesn't get blocked, you know, for like the other stuff, you know, like when we go over here, it gets bigger. So that sounds weird. Uh, the point is, you know, I don't want to block anything, so... <laughs> going back to the EZA Krillin in Android 18, their leader skill. Uh, we're going to go over the old and then the new for comparison, right? So the old leader skill was Joint Forces Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. EZA leader skill is Joint Forces Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Int Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. The 12 key Super Attack, it's going to be... Actually, no, they only have a 12 key. The super attack was originally raises attack and causes supreme damage, and the new super attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage. Passive was changes fizz key spheres to int key spheres, launches an additional super attack with six or more int key spheres obtained, and then attack and defense plus 20%, with each attack performed up to 100%. New super attack... Sorry. New passive uh, changes... Fizz Key Spheres to Int Key Spheres launches an additional super attack with 5 or more Int Key Spheres obtained, so 1 less required, and attack and defense plus 30% with each attack performed up to 180%. So obviously this unit is definitely you know, meant for longer events and uh, 
you know, in those longer events, they're gonna hit really, really hard because they're gonna have 180% attack and defense on their passive, but also greatly raising attack every single super. And since they can launch up to technically three supers in a turn, right? Um, yeah, they're gonna get some crazy attack numbers long term. So yeah, that's the Krillin in 18. Moving on to the EZA LR Master Roshi. Old leader skill, turtle school, category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%. New leader skill, turtle school, category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. 12 key super attack was massively raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. New 12 key super massively raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy, which is 70%. The old 18 key super raises attack by 628% for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. New 18 key super raises attack and defense by 628% for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and seals enemies' super attack. The uh, old passive was defense plus 100%, medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Tur Turtle School Category Allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, when HP is 50% or less upon entering attacking turn, and there are another 2 or more uh, Turtle School Category Allies on the team. If the character or an ally attacking the same turn receives a KO attack, revives and recovers 50% HP once only. So of course that's the revival skill. His new passive is defense plus 120%, Medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Turtle School category allies keep plus 3. Attack and defense plus 40%. When HP is 50% or less upon entering attacking turn. And there are another 2 or more Turtle School category allies on the team. If the character or ally attacking on the same turn receives a KO attack, revives, and recovers 60% HP. So... I mean, this guy was already really good, honestly, before the easy A, and I didn't even think he needed an easy A necessarily, but um, he's getting one, and he's even better now. I mean, I think this guy is easily the best free-to-play unit in the game. Um, he could, there was an argument to be made he was before the easy A, now he is definitely 100% the best free-to-play unit in the game. Okay, moving on to the easy A master Roshi and Tien, their old leader skill was Earthlings category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, EZA leader skill is Earthlings category Q plus, I'm assuming this is a mistake, Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or tech types Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. The uh, super attack used to be causes supreme damage, lowers attack and defense, new super attack causes supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense, and seals super attack. Old passive was attack and defense plus 40%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10%, with each attack received up to 40%. Representatives of Universe 7 category, allies, key plus 1, attack and defense plus 20%. Their easy A is attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, with each attack received up to 70%. And then representatives of Universe 7 category, allies, key plus 3, attack and defense, plus 40%. Such a great support unit, man. Holy crap. I mean, this category definitely needed some supports, and I'm so glad it got such a good one. Okay, so lastly, we have the Fizz Ultra Instinct Goku. Old leader skill was Universe Survival Saga, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%, and then the EZA leader skill. Hold on. Um, okay, so this is definitely a mistake here because it used to be key plus three, there's no way they're gonna take away key, right, from the leader skill. But for this guy, maybe it is supposed to be key plus two. No, I'm guessing it's still a mistake. No, I think this should be key plus three. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna assume it's key plus three. Universe Survival Saga, uh, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or Fizz types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%, Old super attack, Kamehameha, causes supreme damage. New super attack, raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. Infinitely stacking. You know, we love that. Um, old passive was attack and defense plus 80%. Universe Survival Saga, category allies, uh, key plus 3. Now, their new passive, or his new passive, is attack and defense plus 120%. Universe Survival Saga, category allies, key plus 3. 
attack and defense plus 30%, and high chance to evade enemy attacks. That is really good. 50% um, chance to evade, amazing passive, uh, or support passive, and uh, attack and defense plus 120% is solid too. Infinitely stacking attack and defense. Um, yeah, he's amazing. He's, he's really good. So, just great easy A's all around, man. I got no complaints about any of these guys, and uh, can't wait. I'm very excited for these. So, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all these easy A's. Are you impressed or disappointed or just, you know, somewhere in between? But in my opinion, they all look fantastic. Um, I'm especially excited, honestly, about, of course, Roshi, number one. But I love just how good of a support the Master Roshi and Tien uh, have become. You know, key plus three, attack and defense plus 40% is no joke, man. So they're probably going to be a mainstay, I would say, on that representatives of Universe 17. If you like having supports, of course. They're not necessary, but a lot of people do like having supports on their team. And I'm definitely one of those people. So I'm going to be using them a lot. And, uh, of course, this free-to-play UI Goku looks great. Um, I know no, no hate on EZ18 and Krillin. I'm just saying, like, they're probably the least exciting to me. Even though there is 18 in this card, I know it's surprising, but just, like... As a unit, you know, like, these other guys, I think, are a little bit more hype to me uh, because of what they do. So, yeah, that's it. That is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to Goresh for the translations. Uh, shout out to Kawai for, you know, posting this. And uh, that's all I got to say, guys. Um, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.